Hi guys, all right, it's time to uh, sell old Daisy. And um, she's sitting around not doing much, so I thought I'd let her go to someone else who's gonna use it. Great truck, it's had a lot of money spent on it. Um, I actually wouldn't like to sit down and add it up, I'd probably have a heart attack. Um, but I just wanna go through and just, yeah, show you what she's got. Um, she's got a little bit of rust coming through the bottom of the guard down here. And uh, a little bit in the kick panel there. She's got a 80 litre fuel tank in there, or aluminium. Maybe these brackets actually clamp around. So it actually hasn't been plumbed yet, it's got baffles and everything in it. They cost me three grand um, for an 80 litre fuel tank. And on the other side, it's got a 80 litre water tank. They're not plumbed in yet, but they're ready to go. Um, yeah, so she's got new shocks in the back. It's got a 125 litre fuel tank in the bum as well. If you have a look at this. And um, yes, yeah, so there's a 125 litre tank in the back there. <coughs> Spare wheel carrier on it. Um, inside here actually has a dual filler neck. So have a look down here. Oh. There's the other neck there, which comes down and goes into that tank there. So when you're at the servo, you just whack her in there and fill her up there. Comes to the roof rack on top. I actually have a bag for it if you wanted as well. Awning will stay on it. Um, yeah, so she's got the Donaldson filter up here. Um, so it's got the pre-filter and it also has two air filters inside there, which is great. <coughs> Come round, all LED lights in the back. They've all been replaced. Um, all new suspension. There's the other water tank there, so it's baffled as well. And that one's set up for a water tank, not a fuel tank. So it's got the different connections and smaller hoses and stuff there. Inside, she has all new gauges in it. So this car was rewired. And um, yeah, she's done 25,000 Ks, I think, since all the heads have been done. 30,000 Ks are done, 29,000. Jesus, I thought I had none of any Ks. Um, the oil pressure gauge, temperature, taco, vacuum. Um, so it's a little messy down here. I've pulled some stuff out. I'll get that cleaned up. Um, that router won't be staying. It's a Wi-Fi booster. Um, there is a Red Arc dual battery system, which I can let go with the car if you want it. I don't. Um, this here is all Bluetooth um, to program the car, fuel injection. Car's fuel injected, just plugs in there. So as you drive along, you can monitor it. USB connections there, which are always on. Um, yeah, so it's got electric brakes on it for your trailer. I pop the bonnet. Um, so the car's been rewired 30,000 Ks ago, which was about three years ago. Uh, stainless steel roll cage comes with the car. Um, it just wants fitting properly. Got a fan in the back here which run for the kids. Um, these seats are out of a Honda Legend. Had them all reupholstered, leather to match the car. Um, they were done a couple of years ago. The whole car was built, I think 2013 or 2014. I redid it all up. Good old steel door inserts. So um, it's got custom solar panels on the bonnet. So they're 70 watts each. Driving lights, um, these honestly are not the best. They're a cheap set. Uh, they're about $600 new. Um, this here is not cheap. That LED driving light was about $2,500 when I brought that, and it was a long time ago when they first came out. But, uh, that's actually really good quality. CB radio, which is actually up on the roof in here. I forgot about that. CB radio aerial, um, the other aerial. Over there, if you want it, I'll leave it on there. If not, I'll take it off. So, um, yeah, she says she's fuel injected. She's got a Hamilton fuel injection on it, which I'm really, really happy with. So it's all been rewired with all the blade fuses. In there, so it's got the blade, blade fuses, all new relays, everything like that. All the relays are here. Um, I put the mechanical fan back on it. So with the Hamilton fuel injection, um, comes with all computer control, dizzy and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. 
there's probably a lot more features about the car that um, I can't really remember right now. But yeah, she's a little bit of rust starting to come through it um, here in the windscreen. Um, personally, um, if I decide to keep it, um, I'm going to put a fiberglass one in with a stainless steel roll cage from the guys in South Australia. This is a um, ARB uh, bull bar off a Jeep. We had all custom made, put on the front of it. So yeah, it's got all new suspension in it. Uh, it's got two brand new shocks in the back. Um, the, the springs are um, military wrapped and also this actually has a reverse shackle. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, reverse shackle in it. She's got um, brand new gear in the diffs were rebuilt with all 373 gear in to match the 33 inch tyres. It also has Detroit lockers front and back. Um, also has twin sticks, which are there, um, which do require a little bit of adjustment. Um, it does jump out of front wheel drive when you're off road in four wheel drive. Um, has chrome molly axles. Um, one axle in the front is chrome molly, the other one's not. I've got the, I've got the second one ready to go as a spare. Um, like I said, guys, I love this car. It's been my favourite car, and um, yeah, I just don't have time at the moment. It's just going to sit around here. It lives over there in the shed next to my camper trailer, and um, I'm just not using it. So rather than see it go to waste, I'd rather give it to someone else. So give us a call if you're interested to discuss. I'm up in Lismore, New South Wales. Want to come take it for a drive? Uh, what it does require, I got a new water pump. Once going in it, and um, the tappets want adjusting. So um, I just haven't been bothered doing that. There's some marks here, dent the door there, some scratches there, bit of paint off here. That is a dent. And um, this quarter panel back here wants a bit of work. It's got a dual exhaust system on it, which is brand new as well. Uh, well, it's 30,000 Ks. Basically, 2013, I uh, rebuilt this car and drove it to uh, the Kimberley. So I did the old scout up and we drove it over to the Kimberley and did about 20,000 kilometers in that trip in it and then got back and it's done 10,000 Ks since then. Um, most of it cruising up down the highway, moving my house up the Lismore. So she's a good old girl. Um, all the carpet inside is all orange as well with all backing. It's got dyno mat in it everywhere. Um, yeah, so I've put dyno mat under the floor through the whole car. The whole car was in, inside was all painted with Paw 15 and all done. I actually do have those kick panels here somewhere for the carpet. That's um, the OB2 reader for the Bluetooth. I put all these switches in for parking lights, headlights, interior lights, fuel pumps. Um, they require hooking up. It did have thermo fans on it, which I've taken off. Um, thermo fans are great. They're only taken off because I used them on another project. I wasn't driving this. Um, Rocker switches for fridge. There's an air compressor in the back. There's a Vier air compressor built into the back of it as well. I forgot about. Um, the only two things on this here that are hooked up are the driving lights in the front bar. Roof lights have come off. Rear lights they've come off, and the air compressor is not hooked up at the moment. So, so that stuff there. There's the air compressor over in the back uh, with the drawers. I'm actually taking them out to put in my other car, so they won't be going with it unless you make me a really good offer. We can discuss it an a layer drop down fridge the back seats are all leather as well same as the front seats all being reupholstered that's the roll cage um, there is another bit that goes into the back which um, is actually at home at the moment this lives at work so yeah guys if anyone's interested in buying it give me a call my number is 0421 378939 0421 378939 I'm not going to give it away uh, my plan is if I don't sell it in the next couple of months uh, I'm going to electrify it and just put her away and um, eventually pull everything out and make an electric. So give me a call to discuss. Thanks, guys.